create floor so I will connect this to this and now you will be able to see some floors inside your um, project so these are those floors that are created using dynamo uh, inside your this Okay, uh, hello, here is um, Inamula and here in this tutorial what we will be doing is that we will be creating a rotating tower and how to describe it using Dynamo which is a visual programming tool. So first thing uh, we will open uh, our um, a project and architecture template and how to describe it. After that what we will do is that under manage tab we will click this Dynamo and we will open dynamo so here i have a dynamo open now i will click this new and to create a rotating tower the workflow is such that first i need to create some points so let me create a set of points so i will use a node point dot by coordinate and i will click double i will double click and i will say that give me uh, from 0 to 200 give me 11 points and I will connect this so here you can see that I have these numbers and these numbers are 11 from 0 to 200 so if I connect this to this so you will be seeing now that points are now created in this Z direction and the number of points are 11 now I will search I will create um, a circle so how I will create a circle I will search for a node that is circle dot by uh, center point radius now the radius will be 20 and if I connect this to this so you can see that a circle is now created in this origin now what I will do is that I will scale this circle and I will use a node a name is geometry dot scale I will click this I will connect this to this and uh, I will search for a node which is slider I will I click this and I will say that the minimum value is 1 the maximum value is 5 and the step is 0 0.5 and if I connect this to this y direction and I will make it 1.5 so now you can see that our geometry has been now scale so I will hide this now what I will do is that I will translate this uh, circle to these uh, points so I will use a node that is geometry dot translate I will click this I will select this geometry to this and for translation I want that this circle should translate to these points so I will select this to this uh, Z direction now you can see that this circle is now translated to uh, this uh, uh, to these numbers now what I will do is that I will rotate this uh, geometry so for the rotation I will use a node that is geometry dot rotate I will select this I will connect this geometry to this the origin is of course uh, these points so I will select this and the axis is I want this rotation to be in the Z direction so I will search for a node vector dot Z axis this is that node and uh, for the degree of rotation I want 180 degree rotation so what I will do is that I will uh, double click and I will say to Dynamo is that I want a 180 degree rotation but this rotation uh, should be distributed and the uh, number of floors so I will say NF and the NF the number of floors are these 
these these uh, numbers so I will search for a node that is list dot count and you can see now that if I connect this to this so this node is giving me the number of floors or these points so if I connect this to this so you can see that this this node is giving me a 180 degree rotation but it is saying that the first floor should have 18 degree rotation the next 36 and all the way to 180 degree of rotation now if I connect this to this now you will be seeing now that the, our geometry has been rotated if I hide its uh, preview now uh, if I hide this node now I will create a surface uh, around these uh, circles or curve but first I need to discretize these curves so I will, I will do that I will search for a node that is curve dot point at parameter and I will click this I will select this curve to this and I will say that uh, the length I will say that give me 20 points and if I connect this to this and if I make it lacing to cross product now this node is giving me these points so I will connect this to nerve curve by control points and I have recreated this curve by a nerve curve now I can create a surface so I will search for a node that is surface dot by loft uh, here is that node and I will connect this to this so you can see now that uh, rotating uh, surface or uh, tower has been created in Dynamo now what I will do is to transfer this geometry to Revit uh, I will create some panels first I will I have to create a panel so I will use a node from a package name a lunchbox so you have to install this package and uh, our package name is panel by quads and here is that package so with this package is doing that it is creating a sets of points so it is and also it is creating panels so I will say that uh, give me 14 panels or 14 divisions in the u and the v direction so it is it will take a second but it is creating um, those points um, those 14 divisions or panels uh, onto this uh, surface uh, uh, then I will connect my 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 adaptive uh, component to these to these points so I have to, to convert this geometry to Revit now I have to search for a node which is adaptive component by points that nodes and uh, I have to connect this to this for the family type I have to search for this node family type mm, and uh, for adaptive component uh, for adaptive family first I will create I have to create a adaptive family and Revit so how I will do that I will show you that uh, I have to click this file and new under this new I will say family and I will select um, family template which is generic model adaptive so I will click this 
and I will create my adaptive family so first what I will do is that I will create four points so I will create a four points adaptive family what I have to do is that I have to select uh, I have to select this and create four points now I will select this points these four points I will say make this adaptive now I will select first two points I will spline through these I will create a line I will select these I will spline through again spline through points I will select these two I will say spline through points then finally these points I will say spline through points now I will select this uh, these lines I will say solid form and I will click this and uh, let me change its thickness to uh, 3 inches Uh, good now I will select this I will assign a, a parameter which is a, a type parameter I will say it is a gloss or um, I will say it's material and I will I will make it as a type parameter okay now I will assign a material to this to this parameter which by default it uh, um, if I select this gloss so by default this family would be uh, would have a gloss material so I will say uh, um, apply and I have uh, select this gloss material so if I could hmm. So let me change this material to if I so let, let's let's see let's see the um, this is okay I think uh, if, if there is any problem so we can come back again and see but now this this uh, the name of this family is family 3 and let me load this uh, family into my project and uh, make sure that I have 3d my I have my 3d preview now if I select this family 3 and if I connect this to this so you will be able to see now that a rotating tower will be now created in Revit and this uh, adaptive family which is family 3 uh, this will be assigned to these points which are now create which were created in dynamo um, and uh, uh, you will be able to see a rotating tower so it's taking uh, some few seconds so let's wait let's have uh, our cup of tea I'm joking it's not going to take this long but uh, just a uh, Five for ten seconds. So now here you go. You have that uh, beautiful tower. Now you have to make sure that you have this shaded preview on. Now here is that uh, adaptive family which you have, which we have created in this in this tower we have. Now the next step is that we will create. Um, uh, level inside Revit uh, with the help of uh, Dynamo and Floors. So what will we do for that? Is that we will copy this node. Uh, first, let me hide this these nodes. The preview of it. So I will say hide all geometry preview and uh, these points as well so I'll say hard preview now 
and let me uh, unhide its uh, its preview this node preview so i have these curves now i will i will uh, create a copy of this node so i will say i will offset this curve and i will search for a node which is curved or offset and i will connect this to this i will type minus four and if i connect this to this you can see that a curve will be created now this these are curves which are offset to this to this curve now i will do the same procedure that i will discretize this curve as well and i will say that um, that give me 20 points on this curve as well so i'll unhide its uh, preview and you can see and let me hide its preview now i will connect this curve by 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 a poly curve this time i will connect these points by a poly curve so i will say poly curve by points why i have to connect those these points to a poly curve because uh, the 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 node which is this 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 node floor dot by mm, dot by outline type and level this curve expect that uh, i should connect a poly curve to to this to this node in order to create a floor so i will search for a node which is floor uh, type so i will say give me generic 12 inches and i will connect this to this I will connect this flow poly curve and for the level let me create some level in my Revit project as well so the node which I will use is that is level dot by elevation and uh, what this node is doing is that it is creating a, a levels it is creating uh, levels and I want to create level by elevation so I'm using these these numbers so if I connect this to this node you will be able to see some levels inside your Revit and these levels are created using this this node so if I connect this to this or before that you should see that levels are created in your project too and it is all because of dynamo that you have created those levels so now to create floors so i will connect this to this and now you will be able to see some floors inside your um, project so these are those floors that are created using dynamo uh, inside your this um uh, this project so i hope that you have learned something in the next video what we will be doing is that we will be creating some beams and columns and uh, in the next um, I, after that we will be doing um to how to create windows walls and doors so uh, I'm hopeful that you have learned something and uh, bye-bye up till next uh, video. Thank you very much.